you know that when it comes to diaries, you've mm. explained, uh, you know, in a very enlightening way why you like to keep them. I've mentioned this to you before, but I actually think keeping a diary is for little girls. Yeah. Um, now, That's uh, why the who, cover's got a bit pink. Yeah, uh, who keep heart-shaped locks on them <laughs> at night. That I and love Sam. With that in Why won't a Sam lot, kiss me? A lot of girls would have, in, back in my primary school days, have written just that on the yeah. cover of their diaries, yeah. as it happens. Um, now, uh, we're going to go through some of the extracts from your diaries. Oh, here we go. Okay. And uh, see if you can remember, because you really left nothing out. There's all sorts of little moments, and we can see, we can put you to the test, because I then. know you edited this, and see oh, if uh, you remember what happened. Okay. Um, for this feature, I got the help of my nine-year-old daughter, okay. Coco. Yeah, yeah. She likes to keep a diary, just like you. Are yeah. you ready? Let's go. Here's your first clip. My dad is so embarrassing, she writes. Go on. Wednesday, the 1st of October, 2003. A speaking agency had called yesterday offering 25 grand for a speech in the south of France. Sounds like a good gig. But how did you feel about it, Alistair? I was depressed. Let's see. And I couldn't be asked. <laughs> oh, I couldn't be asked. And I should say as well, Coco was livid that I made her read that word out. <laughs> She said that she's, she said she didn't like using words yeah. like that. I, well, I said I said to her, this story is written by a very rude man. Um, <laughs> right, uh, let's listen to the second clip. Take it away. Friday the 23rd of April, 2004. I knew something had gone on with the PCC yesterday because I had got calls about it. I asked Sherry what had happened and she said, why should I tell you when you are now a member of the craft? Tony Blair raised his eyebrows. He made a cup of tea and we went through to the lounge. <laughs> yeah. There you go. But oh, listen, will Coco do the audio? Here's the question. She would love to if you're paying. Uh, here's the question. What mood was Tony in and how was he dressed that day? Oh, my God. Uh, he was in quite a good mood considering. Right. Was he? Well, wait and okay. see. And, and he was probably wearing... Oh, shorts and flip flops or something. I think, it it, something I, terrible. I think it's very sweet that you catalogue what the boss's clothes were every day. Wear... But let's see what yeah. Coco says. He looked relaxed enough, wearing jeans and a t shirt and oh, trainers. There you go, jeans and t shirt and trainers, very casual. Okay, here's your third extract from your diary Wednesday, the 10th of November, 2012. Working on odds and ends, I got a call from June. Who had yeah. seen TB yesterday with some art people. She said he was in fantastic form and they loved him. She totally bought the idea of trying to have a strategy for anti-war people who would still rather have a Labour than a Tory government and she felt she could help find more. Now, the question is... Yeah. What did you do that night, Alistair? Oh, after all those odds and ends have been <laughs> taken care of. What date was it again? It was Wednesday, 10th of November, 2012. Uh, 2012? 2012, that's no, not right. Six, 2004. Uh, I don't have a clue. Was it a football match? Tuesday midweek game? Let's see. Take it away, Coco. Out to ITM for a meeting on the media charity quiz. There you go. And oh. he he here's the final and fourth clip. This is a good one, this. Very topical. Wednesday, the 20th of October, 2004. I met Sam Allardyce in one of the executive boxes executive overlooking boxes, yeah. the ground. Very much per the image. Big, bluff jacket without tie. Golden necklace. Oh, Very nice guy, but obviously wor worried a bit about his media profile. He obviously had in mind going for the England job at some point in the future, mm. possibly soon. And I knew he perhaps had to get his profile in a different place. But what advice did you give Big Sam that day, Alistair? I told him to broaden his profile and to deepen the range a bit and actually to talk about trends in football and not just be seen as the kind of, you know, working class smaller player. Da, da, da. Right, let's see. I gave him my usual spiel and strategy. Spiel. Clarity. <laughs> Really deciding what you want to put over and then just do it. Well, there you go. Alistair Campbell was the man who advised Sam Allardyce on how to conduct himself with the media as England manager. And, well, we saw how that turned out. Blimey, uh, Alistair Campbell is available to give media <laughs> advice. 
His <laughs> previous clients include Tony Blair, the pariah figure of British politics, and Sam Allardyce, disgraced former England manager. <laughs> Thank you, um, Sam. If you, if you, you Google him, you'll find yeah. you'll be able to get in touch. <laughs>